Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Tittle Tattle Tarot. It's Georgie. And on the table today, I have a sample of handwriting from um, a diary. Um, some of these were written on notebooks and um, little note, uh, like post-it notes, but I believe this is a page from a diary. Uh, who wrote this? Well, uh, this was written by an ex-nurse called Lucy Letby. And Lucy Letby is on trial at the moment at Manchester Crown Court um, in the UK, um, accused of the murder of seven babies at um, the neonatal unit in which she worked at. Um, so accused of murdering seven babies with the attempted murder of 10 others. Um, this young woman is 33 years old. And um, the police, when they sort of looked at her bedroom, her bedroom's very childish, uh, teddy bears and um, a, a room that you would more likely associate with a teenager rather than a 33-year-old woman. Um, but when they went through her bedroom, um, they discovered uh, this diary. And this is just one of the many pages, very jumbled writing. Now, I would love a graphologist to look at this. I'm, I'm not anything like that. I don't know how to read handwriting, but I do need, do know a confused mind. And um, I think that this writing is, is screaming out um, that, you know, somebody has a very confused mind. Um, now, whether she's a murderer, I do not know. Um, she says that um, she's sort of the fool guy in all of this. She says she's not guilty. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to ask the tarot, tarot of the abyss, who wrote this? What, what was going on in the person's mind who wrote like this? So I want to try and get a little bit of background onto the emotional side of Lucy Letby. Now, um, I will say that these murders were committed in 2015, 2016. Uh, she's on trial at the moment. So um, what I am going to do, I'm going to pull parts of a Celtic cross. Um, I'm going to try and keep this on the table and see if I can just pull the cards around it. We'll have what was in the head when writing this. What was at the root of everything with this writing? What was the past when this happened, you know, in about 2016, 2015? And what is her future? So we're just pulling like the four, the four winds, if you like, of the um of the Celtic cross. So let's just start. Lucy let me now. What is the head? What is in the head? What is the top position for the person that wrote this? Tower of the Abyss. Tower of the Abyss. We're talking about who wrote this and what was in their head when they wrote it. In the head. Okay, I'll go through these in a second. In the head. What was at the base of everything? At the root of everything? At the root of this writing? At the root of it all? And back in 2015, 2016, when all this was happening, what was in the mind what was in the mind back then and what will the near future be what will the near future be this trial is ongoing what will the near future be okay so let's get rid of this let's look at that writing for one last time and we'll get rid of that. Okay. So I asked, what was in the head, the mind of the person that wrote this? Somebody who can't work with others. This is a lone wolf. This is somebody who can't pull with others, who, although you're working in um, a hospital unit, caring for babies, this is very much a person who is alone, very much um, a one-man band, very much a loner, um, does not do well um, working as part of a team, um, doesn't really like to be told what to do, doesn't pull in the same direction as everybody else. 
she'll make a fist of it and she she will attempt to do it um but deeply resents being part of a team she she's very much a solo person a solo player that's in her mind so what's at the bottom of this the seven of cups now the seven of cups is your choices that you make in life you know the decisions that you make and we all have various choices um and some of them are good and some of them are bad. And if you look at the um, Seven of Cups, you often see like some cups have got beautiful things in like flowers and garlands and, you know, lovely things. And other cups have got serpents in and, you know, things that you think, oh, my goodness, I'd rather not have that as a choice. You know, I'd try and avoid that. But some people, they are just drawn to the bad choices in life. And for this woman, Lucy Letby, she chose totally the wrong path. She made a really bad decision. Now, I'm not saying that she committed all these murders, but I am saying that she made a really bad, bad decision. Just one, and it's taken her down, this one decision. She had so many life choices that she could have made, but she chose the wrong one. Probably due to this fact that um, she went against what she should have been doing. She was told what to do, but she knew better or um, she wasn't happy being instructed. She made decisions that um, were bad decisions. And what happened back in 2015, 2016? Well, whatever it was, it happened quickly. She had to be quick. Whatever she did, she had to be in and out. The chariot is fast moving. You know, she couldn't hang about whatever she did. I'm not saying that she murdered these babies, but, you know, whatever she did, she had to do it quickly. And this is the card of get in, do it, fast movement. So around that time, she's making decisions that had to be carried out quickly. The chariot, fast moving. And this has led to the near future the lovers in reverse. Um, now, the lovers, this does not mean particularly love relationships, um, sexual relationships or anything like that. But, you know, your your lovers this way up, look, look how the trees are um, entwined and they sort of hug each other. And it's a union of trees. You know, they've made the decision to come together. They've made the decision to have their roots planted and work together, come together, join together. And um, this is a lovely card, the lovers. It's a choice choosing to be next to someone. Now, whether that's a business or whether that's a partnership or whatever it might be, but you made that choice to, to entwine your life, your business, your affairs with someone else in a joyful way. And look how deeply those roots are connected into the earth. Well, this, whatever these decisions were, have torn this apart. The roots are in the air. Um, this can never be planted and can never be secure again. Uh, relationships, the choices that were made here at the root of it all, that bad choice, choices, has called the lovers in reverse. The choice was wrong. We know that from here. The choice has put her roots in the air. It's untangled any kind of um, relationships that she could have had, relationships with her family even, relationships with the other people that she worked with. Everything has, has come undone. Nobody will want to be in a union with her at all. Um, this is a card of isolation and loneliness. So... I want to go back to this handwriting again. Let me just get it back up on the computer. And we'll just ask a couple more questions. So there it is. Let me just know cards, Tower of the Abyss, about the mental stability of the person who wrote this. The mental stability of the person who wrote this. This writing. This writing, let me know the mental stability of the person who wrote this.
I've got the High Priestess in reverse, and I don't think I need to pull any more cards for this. Um, your High Priestess in reverse. If you were to take the High Priestess up the right way, let's get rid of that again. If you were to put the High Priestess up the right way, you would have, um, this would be your very wise nurse, the, the nurse that um, understands how precious life is, uh, these babies were all um, there for a reason. You know, they were critically ill or very, very poorly. Your high priestess understands the balance that life has, you know, that, that sort of bridge between life and death. And the high priestess would do everything in her power to, um, you know, um, safeguard that life. She understands, deeply understands the human condition. So, you know, if you had a high priestess um, as a nurse working in that kind of unit, um, she would totally empathize with the parents. She would understand the importance of life and she would just instantly um, have a bond and know and, and just deeply understand. Now, we've got the high priestess in reverse. This is um, very unstable energy. This is somebody who does not understand the preciousness of life. This is somebody who does not get how important, you know, um, these little lives are, how how much their parents um, dote on them and how, how, how um, invested everyone is. Um, she doesn't understand these relationships. Um, this is a very dark, dark card. When you get a high priestess in reverse, uh, this is somebody you don't want to trust. You wouldn't want to trust them around uh, life and death situations. Poorly children, poorly babies. No, you know, you really would not want a high priestess in reverse in any position of power. It's a very dark card, an evil card, I would go as far as to say. Um, I am not following this case. Um, I think that I will start to key into it and start to see what's happening. It's coming towards the end of the trial. Um, if you're from America and you don't know about it, just put in Lucy Let Be, um, and it's on at Manchester Crown Court. And you can just read a little bit about it. As I say, there are so many poor babies um, that they're just sort of using uh, letters of the alphabet to define which baby is which, because there are so many of them. And obviously for their you know, parents um, and the baby's anonymity and what have you. But um, it's a terrible, terrible, terrible case. Uh, that was a sample of Lucy Letby's handwriting. And this is what my cards tell me about what was in her mind and what her mental health is. Um, I would love to know what you think. Do you feel that um, the cards have got it right? Do you know more? Have you been following it? I would love to hear from you because as always, you're very wise and you tell me things that I do not know. And I very much appreciate that. Um, all I can say is those seven babies that were killed, murdered, um, may they rest in peace and um, God bless them. And um, let's see what happens with this trial and let's see what the eventual outcome is. You take care, love each other, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.